Zoho Mail versus Gmail review. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be tackling one of the most searched comparisons in business email Zoho Mail versus Gmail. Now, if you're starting a business, running a team, or simply want a professional email setup, choosing between these two can be pretty tough. So, in this video, we'll go deep into their features, user experience, privacy, integration, power, and pricing all to help you decide which one deserves a spot in your digital toolbox. So let's actually begin with the basics. Gmail, part of the Google workspace. It's, you know, probably the world's most widely used email platform. It's clean, powerful, and very feature rich. It's used by individuals, startups, enterprises, and even schools. On the other side, Zoho Mail is the flagship email service from Zoho a company known for its suite of over 45 business tools, which is incredible. It's privacy focused, affordable, and has grown a lot to become a serious alternative to Gmail, especially for small businesses and privacy conscious users. Now, when it comes to actually signing up with both of these, I'm pretty sure you know how to sign up with Gmail. All you got to do is create a Google account and that's it you can basically run your Gmail account from there. So yeah, create a Google account totally free and get into your Gmail. Now, when it comes to Zoho, it's a different story because Zoho will basically take you through a whole conundrum of signups. Okay. Now for that, firstly, what you're going to want to do is you're going to tell them which Zoho product you're actually going to be using. So in my case, let's say I'm going to go with mail. And once you go with mail right over here, now I'm already logged in, but it's going to give you a whole sign up process where you're not going to only have to add in your general recurring details for Zoho, but also go ahead and verify your phone number, your emails, give it a little bit of some personal identity. And, you know, after all of that, it's going to create your account like it has created mine over here. Now, let's actually break down the user interface for both of these. Now, when it comes to Gmail, Gmail offers a familiar and intuitive interface. If you've ever used a Google product, you will feel right at home. The inbox is absolutely customizable. And to customize it, what you can basically do is just go over to the settings of your inbox. And as you can see, you have all the different customizations that you can put up with the inbox. You can also switch between tapped inbox, priority inbox, or even compact view. Gmail's smart filtering search capabilities and label systems are unmatched. Zoho Mail, on the other hand, has a more traditional layout. Folders on the left, mail view in the center, and tools on the right. It also supports multiple themes and layout customizations. Though it can feel slightly heavier for the first time users, that said, Zoho's interface has made huge improvements in the recent years, and they're pretty incredible. It also includes a dark mode, smart filters, and tabs for calendar, tasks, and notes all built into the sidebar. Now, you can also see the user interface is a lot like Google's, but, you know, still a little different because it gives you a basic three block section to actually work with and this three block section is what differentiates it with different crms or even mails now the reason for that is because usually people have created their interface a lot like google's you know something like this and obviously to make better efficiency and work ethic of it what Zoho has done is it's given you proper three block sections on the right side you get the proper design templates over here you get the general emails that you're coming in and going out and over here you have your general index Google on the other hand has an index and the email so you know that's a difference a somewhat difference in their interfaces now next let's talk about features now, Gmail comes loaded, you know, Google meet for video calls. You can also go with the business profile manager, YouTube, Gemini, maps, search, calendar, photos, news, translate, sheets, docs, slides, 
And this is not even all of them. You get much more than that. You know, it's absolutely amazing. And you have the whole access to the entire Google ecosystem. It also includes smart compos, grammar suggestion, snooze, undo, send, and powerful search operators when it comes to working with your emails. Zoho Mail, on the other hand, catches up and matches with its own feature stack. It includes things like email suite, custom domain, security privacy, admin control, integrations, and it also moves over to calendar, tasks, notes, and even a built-in chat tool called Streams. Now, while Gmail leans more towards real-time collaboration, Zoho offers mod better modular tools for internal organization, especially for growing teams. So let's talk about privacy and security between these two. And obviously this is where the debate gets serious because privacy and security is a big pet peeve for a lot of you users out there. Now, Gmail is secure, but it's no secret that Google scans email data to improve its services, even if not for ads anymore. Your data is stored, indexed, and may be used across Google's very own ecosystem. And obviously that's something that does bug a lot of users. Now in that case, Zoho might be a little better. Now Zoho, on the other hand, has made a privacy core part of its offering. It promises zero ads, zero tracking, and fully GDPR and HIPAA compliant data centers so if privacy matters to your business, Zoho has a clear edge in that. Now, if we also move over to collaboration tools, Gmail through Google Workspace is unmatched. You get real-time collaboration in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and seamless calendar scheduling makes it perfect for distributed teams. Zoho also offers collaborative tools through Zoho Docs, Writer, and Connect but they aren't as universally adopted or familiar to users at Google tools. However, for business already using the Zoho One ecosystem, CRM, books, projects, Zoho Mail fits in like an absolute glove for you when you're working with it. So for custom domains and branding, both platforms support this, but Zoho on the other hand makes it easier for small businesses where you can get a free Zoho Mail plan for up to five users with custom domain. You know, it's something Gmail doesn't offer. If you want it on Gmail, you can get it for free. Gmail requires you to sign up for the Google Workspace, which starts up at $6 per user per month to use your own domain. So Zoho obviously wins in that case. So they have the free plan, the Mail Lite plan for a dollar, the mail premium plan for $4 and the workplace plan for $3. You know, it's very budget friendly and it makes it ideal for the budget conscious businesses out there. So obviously if you're light on the money flow, this is a great you know chance for you to actually get a custom domain email section. Now, once all of that has been gone through, let's actually summarize the pros and cons for both of these. Now, when it comes to Zoho Mail's pros and cons, the first and foremost pro is that it's ad free and private. You don't get any unnecessary ads. You don't get any unnecessary bugging through the software. It's much cheaper with free custom domain support. You get modular tools for email tasks and calendars, and it's really easy for small teams as well. The cons on the other hand for Zoho are that the interface can feel much heavier and, the, and less collaborative than Google Workspace. Obviously, the integrations aren't as good and matched up as Google's. Now, when it comes to Gmail, the pros are that you get a very familiar UI and UX feeling, so you feel right at home when you're using it. Okay, you don't really need a big learning curve for this. It's best-in-class search and AI tools with deep integration with Google products, great for collaboration. Now, the cons are that it's expensive for custom domains, privacy concerns due to data indexing, and less control for admins compared to Zoho. So, which one out of these would you choose? If your team is already embedded in the Google ecosystem or you value collaborative features like shared docs and meetings, 
Gmail is still a leader. But if you want private, affordable, professional email with full control, Zoho Mail is an underrated powerhouse, especially for startups and growing businesses. So which platform are you going to be using? Or are you thinking of switching to? Drop your thoughts in the comments, give this video a like if it helped, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out a lot. And that is pretty much all there is for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.